This question is basically a very easy review of a very important concept, y equals mx plus b. This is the most important formula, equation, whatever you want to call it, for the SAT. So they don't give it to you, you have to memorize it, but hopefully you've worked with it enough in school that it is very easy to recall. Uh, in this case, they kind of force you to recall it because that's how all these answer choices are presented as y equals mx plus b, and we're just filling in for the pieces. So we can take a look here, the slope of four. Well, remember the slope is the m portion of y equals mx plus b. Now, uh, no matter what that letter is, it's basically just always the part that's attached to the x, right? So sometimes things get rearranged with y equals mx plus b, but if you've got a part that's attached to an x, that is the slope, assuming that y is alone. This is really important for y equals mx plus b. So just thinking about the slope, we already can see that choices A and B are going to be wrong. They have the wrong value there. Um, just to be clear, though, even if it was something like Y equals 4 plus 6X, which is mathematically equivalent, it still would be the case that the slope of choice B is 6 because that's what's attached to the X. Then for the final piece, they are telling us basically the y-intercept. You might not recognize it as that, but remember, all y-intercepts have an x value of 0. So that's exactly what this is. So we can also then see that that is the b portion of the line. So that is the y-intercept. Um, and so we can also see then, just from there, that choice d has to be the answer because that has a plus 6, right? Minus 6, not the same thing. Now, if you didn't know that, though, remember, just use our main strategy, plug points into equations, and the reason that the b, the y-intercept, kind of is this piece at the end, is that the 0 for x is going to wipe that component out. So if we plugged in 0 here, 4 times 0 minus 6 is negative 6, right? So that's not the right y-coordinate. We needed to be positive 6, and here, 4 times 0 plus 6 is 6. So check. Now, this is, again, a very important equation, a lot of simple concepts here, not a hard question, but uh, it's going to get harder, so you need to be able to understand these basics really, really well for when it gets harder in uh, later parts of the section, the hard module. So we are going to keep coming back to y equals mx plus b, and so just be careful that you can kind of know all the twists that come with it. This is a very basic one, but there will be twists coming.